Milwaukee, Milwaukee on track to have a third record year of homicides. A lot of work needs to be done in the Office of Violence Prevention. We now know who will lead one of the efforts to drive down crime. Ashanti Hamilton leaving his post as District 1 Alderman and taking the reins at OVP. Mary Jo Ola live downtown with this announcement. Mary Jo. Steve, this change comes nearly two weeks after the former director at the Office of Violence Prevention was fired from her job. During today's news conference, Mayor Cavalier Johnson focused on looking ahead. And we look forward to getting to work and making sure uh, that we're having an impact in the community. After more than a decade on Milwaukee's Common Council, Alderman Ashanti Hamilton was named the new director of the city's Office of Violence Prevention. I do understand that our previous directors have put in a lot of work um, in helping people understand what violence as a public health issue is. Um, we want to build on that work. The mayor's announcement comes as Arnita Holloman, the former director of OVP, called her recent firing unwarranted and unprofessional. I disagree with the former director's uh, statement. I'll just leave it at that. The office has been under pressure recently from the Common Council to prove its funding is actually making a difference to prevent violence. While praising Hamilton's background in law, Mayor Johnson said the alderman also understands the need for results and metrics to show how OVP is making Milwaukee safer. I think that he could do great things. You know, like I said, I didn't have a problem with Arnita, but um, I'm excited to see what Alderman Hamilton can do. Sean Mohammed works with the Asha Project, an organization that works to help victims of domestic violence. They've partnered with OVP since it first formed, sometimes receiving funds to expand their efforts in the community. Mohammed hopes Hamilton gets a real chance to make an impact in a time when violence is rising. I think that they could benefit from having more staff as well, you know, because really they really like a small army that's doing a lot of work, you know, and a lot of I did ask Muhammad about his thoughts, given that Hamilton faced child abuse charges back in 2009. Muhammad said he's not concerned about it because Hamilton has atoned for his mistakes. Live in downtown Milwaukee, Mary Joel, TMJ4 News. Mary Joel, thank you very much.